Do you know one of the main reasons why people crash in technical terrain? Hi, my name is Roxy and welcome to another episode of Roxy's Ride and Inspire. So, all right, I'm on a double step. It's nothing really wild, but already something that if you dismount to the front, that can cause a crash. And let me show you if I'm right here and now I dismount to the front. Everything is okay. But let's say I'm here and then I dismount to the front a little quicker and you already see now that my rear wheel is lifting and if I have a little more momentum then from here to over the bars it's not very far. However, if I really automatize braking and dismounting to the rear then you can see I'm really safe here. I'm on the higher side of the bike and I can either let go or grip my bike on the saddle. My bike is safe, I'm safe. And I see this a lot of times, even from advanced instructors, that they ride into a section which may not be really technical and then they dismount to the front and then maybe their foot slips and they start to go over the bar with their bike. Let me demonstrate this to you on the bike for you to see. I'm gonna demonstrate both dismounting to the rear and also dismounting to the front and you will directly see which one looks safer and I can guarantee you, I know which one feels safer and which one is safer. <laughs> so I think you got a pretty good visual why I don't want to be getting off to the front of the bike. I have made videos about safe dismounting techniques before, but I would like to really emphasize this topic because it's actually one of the main reasons why I see people crashing. A lot of people ask me, is this also possible with clipless pedals? And is this only po also possible if the saddle is not lowered but high? It is, but it's just harder. So you need more practice to be able to do it when you're riding in terrain. But the technique itself is the same. So go out, practice, and here's how to. So here are the individual steps how to dismount to the rear of the bike. Brake to a full halt, take off your rear foot, then the front foot, and then let go of the brakes and grip the saddle. When you're practicing dismounts, it's important to practice in the flat or on a very, very slight downslope first. So don't practice it right in the technical terrain, but in a flat area before. The individual steps are you want to break with both brakes. I already have a braking tutorial and I'm going to be showing it right now. Watch that if you haven't. You brake with both with your index finger on each side, lower your center of gravity. And once you've come to a full stop, you take off your rear foot, then your front foot, and then let go of the brakes and grip to the saddle. I'm going to show you how that looks right now. Here's the reason why I'm taking off my rear foot first. So in my case, that's my left foot. Well, for one thing, obviously it's closer to the rear. <laughs> and the other reason is if I take off my front foot first, I'm gonna have a crank rotation. No problem here, but if it happens on a step and I have a crank rotation, then the chance of clipping this pedal is pretty high. Like I'm, if I'm riding this height, you can see that I'd clip my pedal. And that's the reason why you really wanna start practicing by taking your rear foot first, so the pedals remain level. And then after you've practiced that side, you can also practice the other side because in some situations, it's just not possible to take off your rear foot because maybe there's like a hole or something there. So you do want to be able to perform both sides, but you want to default to taking your rear foot off first. Here's how it looks if I take my front foot, so here's how it looks if there is a pedal rotation. Okay. 
So I hope that makes sense. This is especially, especially important for us shorter riders. So for us petite riders, because here, I know a lot of riders who can't even straddle their bike. With me, it's just working out, but if there is more steepness, it's not really a good place to be. Here, I'm fine because I have 27 and a half wheels. That is also the reason why I'm not a big fan of 29 inch wheels because I just don't reach the floor. <laughs> and so if you're a shorter rider, then this is especially important, but for any size of rider, that is the safe place to be. This is the ouch place to be, and that is the safe place to be. That is the safe place to be, exactly. The next thing I'm gonna show you is to actually dismount in this technical part here, because once you've gotten used to dismounting this way, then you can actually do it almost everywhere. And that's the idea and that's the goal, that you can just ride into any section and you have that sheet anchor. You know you are going to be safe even if halfway through you decide you don't want to ride it. And this gives your brain the security because it knows, hey, I can try it. And if it doesn't work out, then I'm just gonna get off and be safe. And if your brain is sensing that, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I can ride it and I don't know what happens if I don't ride it, obviously it's gonna give you the signal that it's scared and that is super healthy. So unless you have a plan B, which is safe dismounting, if you are scared of riding a specific section, then listen to that body. Your body is more intelligent than probably everyone out there. And if it's giving you the signal of being scared, then ask it, invite it, say, what are you telling me? Why am I scared? And then, for example, practice a plan B, which is dismounting. So here's my demo right in the technical section, once to the rear with level pedals and then with the front foot first, so with a pedal rotation for you to see that it's not ideal. If you have questions about this topic, then just jot them below in the comments. And I would love to see you again for my next video. Buy me a coffee if you like my videos. I love coffee and goodbye.